fears are always going to arrive and appear on your way. Look at fear as a friend. Whenever you get really afraid of something, something that scares you, look at it. Kind of check it out and dive into it. There is something for you to learn from it. Okay, let's see if there's any questions. Hey, there's a guy named da -da 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 and something that are spamming me with racist messages. Can you please remove him? Escanar. Okay. Amir, are you there? Yes, I'm Ali, here. Yeah, okay. Uh, Ali sent us a message. Can you read that and take a look at it? It's on our chat box. Hi, Ali. Nice to see you. Nice having you here. Where I don't see any you? message Let's from see. Ali. Find you. Yeah, it's Ali Al uh, Shamari. It's yeah, I know, so but I don't see any question from him. Okay, so we'll get into that later. No problem. Um, all right, let's see. Anybody has any questions? Do you want to talk about what we were talking about today? You can wave at me or write on the chat box and I'll unmute you and we can talk. Right now I um, muted everybody because of this guy that is coming on our system and spamming on our system. So, sorry if I had to mute everyone. No questions. Okay. Hi, Tanas. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, so nice to see you today. I'm glad you made it. Nice to see you too. You have any questions for me today? Yeah, I was just wondering. Um, so let's say I have a teacher that's, you know, showing you that mirror that you fall in love with. And then all of a sudden, the mirror starts to become unclear and starts to like trigger some wounds in you and then you start to see that um you start to feel that it's no longer um showing to you what made you fall in love and so you fall out of love and then it becomes unclear so you have to leave in order to find yourself again and then since you don't have that mirror anymore then you lose yourself can you explain okay that? Okay, so what is the question? You got me a little bit lost. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is like the only way I can you know, describe it. Okay, so that mirror is, uh, you know, like let's say you have a teacher and then that mirror is showing to you things within yourself that you fall in love with and then um, it brings it out of you and then it like, it fills you up. Like you're receiving that light, right? right. And then you're, right. as you're receiving that light from the teachings, poetry, whatever. And then it's also like showing you things within yourself that you didn't know it was there and it's coming out and then you fall in love with that, which is in here. And then you're projecting that to the teacher, right? But then all of a sudden, like, it starts, the mirror starts becoming unclear because now all of a sudden there's some like unhealed wounds within you that you have been ignoring and those start to become like triggered. And then all of a sudden the, the mirror, it becomes unclear 
and then um, you're not, you fall out of love. And so you feel like you have to leave in order to find yourself again. Um, because you found right. yourself in, and then right. you get lost. Okay. So let, let's um, talk about this part is this whole thing that we believe that we fall in love with somebody is false actually you don't really fall in love with anyone in absolute reality you always fall in love with yourself what the other person does and we're all doing it on daily basis for each other is when you f start to have these feelings i mean i'm not saying that human attraction doesn't exist so don't take me wrong and i'm going to get into that too but in absolute reality, you always fall in love with yourself. So the other person is just a mirror. You're looking at yourself when you meet someone. Let's say you, you meet this beautiful man, boy, whatever, and your heart's beating really fast and you're really feeling drawn towards them, whatever. I'm just using this as an example, okay? So it may not be your situation, I don't know, but I'm just using it as a simple example. And we're traditionally, we're conditioned to believe that we're falling in love with the meat, with this person, this body, this face or persona. But they're mirroring us and they're t pulling a trigger within ourselves. And that trigger when it's being pulled, we begin to feel the presence of the being within ourselves to be revealed and we fall in love with the, with the divine self. But since we're conditioned to project it outside of ourselves, we think we fell in love with someone else. And then when that person leaves you, then we crash we go through a heartbreak because we then think we, we fell out of love and we lost love. But in reality, as you become more mature spirituality and you've become self-aware, you recognize and you get more established into the self, you begin to see that you really recognize the presence of love within yourself and the other person pulled the trigger for you. Now that's one part. The other part is yes, human attraction is very natural. It's a natural phenomena that happens. So we are packed animals and we like to have company. So there's nothing wrong with that either. But it's very, very important, which we're going to be talking about this at the uh, coming workshop this coming week. And it's a part, one part of our uh, workshop that I'm going to make this more clear and talk about it more about this deep conditioning, this belief system. It's an imprint that love is coming from the outside. It's an object.